Ryan. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien today. As I said yesterday, let us take a look at what we've got going on right now. Well, again, the market not doing too much right now. We have the E-mini up about 0.41%. The SPY up about, obviously, the same, trading at 523 uh, the Russell futures up nearly a full percent at 0.9. NQs 0.58. Dow futures up 0.27 percent. That gold contract actually uh, doing okay today. We get on to the monthly here. Uh, silver up 1.29, and copper continues to make its move higher. We're trading in the 488 area. Can this go to five? Maybe. It did hit five briefly above that 502. On um, some pretty strong volume that day, of course, it closed a little bit lower than that, um, but we're still moving up. Uh, not as much volume today uh, remains to be seen. Of course, you have companies, copper miners, even like FCX today, uh, doing pretty well. I think FCX up about 2.3 currently. Uh, crude futures down $78. Uh, it's actually interesting to see. I'm, I'm, I'm following just energy in general, but specifically the crude, because you, you get a lot of this conflicting news of what's going on. Um, you know, for instance, you have, I believe it's Nigeria, where they have a, actually one of the, I think the seventh largest reserve of light Swede crude in the world, and they were holding it all for the value of the contract to go up, and uh, it's not. I think there's just a lot of supply, really. Even going in to some of the hotter months as well, you know, here in Florida, when we have a big storm today on the West Coast, but... I mean, it's hot now, right? So we'll see what happens with that. It is interesting uh, to see this, you know, continuing to kind of go down. Uh, we're looking at steel dynamics up at 135. Tesla back up a little bit at 3%, still trading at 177. And the dollar is coming down a little bit off of the mid-105 area to 105 right now. And we'll see if we can get back down to that 104.52 level. Uh, Disney not doing anything at all. Meta not doing much at all. Lucid blowing up yet again. And then Plug. We can talk about Plug a little bit going forward, but this is something that likes to get played on in the meme space quite a bit. And speaking of that, we can take a look at GameStop right now. Thirty. Yeah, look at the come down on that anyways. They're fighting, but still at $42. And then AM, AMC, I think, what is the ticker for that? AMC, yeah, again, they sold something like, uh, I can get the number for you. They completed 250 million stock sale during the meme rally. This is pretty nuts. The movie theater operator sold 72.5 million shares in an equity offering launched in March. It raised about 250 million of new equity capital, completing the sale Monday during the revived meme stock craze. The movie theater operator sold 72.5 million shares and an at-the-market equity offering that it launched in March 28th. AMC sold that stock at an average price of $345. We are trading at $651 currently. <laughs> this is so crazy. Because we opened, like, what? Uh, day Tuesday? Yeah, so 13th. Opened probably about, like, yeah, like, 3... Okay, let's see here. Probably, like, 330-something. Unbelievable. Uh... AMC more than doubled. It hit an intraday peak of 588. Of course, we're well above that right now. Stock closed Monday session up more than 78% at $5.19. Again, we're trading at 747 right now. The short sellers are getting screwed over from this. Uh, what an unbelievable <laughs> kind of situation again. Anyways, I guess props to the people who rode that all the way down. Let me see if I can go on them out a little bit right now. Who's a what? Obviously, this must have been some kind of, like, consolidation. That's crazy. But anyways, you know, people were buying in a lot of this massive volatility and held it all the way down, and there was a lot of hopium going on. And I guess, depending on where you're at, you can get out at this price. But, you know, sadly, when these things pop up, uh, pe people buy at, at the top, right? I mean, that's just, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, but anyways, interesting to see it move up on that percent. And uh, again, I think this is going to peter out. Uh, nobody's holding these things in reality. They're not great companies. They're at these low valuations for reasons. Uh, so if you're in it and you've made money, you know, this isn't advice or whatever. But if I were in that position, I would get out as soon as possible.
because these things don't stick. They just don't. Uh, it's just kind of like a hype train. Regardless, that is uh, pretty interesting news. We can talk a little bit about the Fed. We have what do you get, the PPI come in today, a little bit hotter than anticipated. We have CPI coming out tomorrow. I, the, I think the market's just kind of indecisive in general. I mean, we're seeing, you know, we're up 0.545% right now. Um, not, you know, maybe about half of what's usually happening. Um, which kind of tells me that the CPI might not be horrible, but it's not going to be great either. And I also am starting to think that, you know, all these really good uh, financials that came out, the good quarterlies, uh, and the, you know, year out economic outlook is kind of already priced in to us at a certain extent, right? Um, now, obviously, if CPI comes in like super hot tomorrow, uh, then, then you can have some major issues, right? Because then we might, you know, drift into the territory of, well, will another rate hike be required? Right now, the conversation is that it's not happening. We just need to keep the rates at these levels for a longer period of time. Uh, and that in and of itself, you know, has its own implications, right? Uh, but so, I mean, we're trading up like near all-time highs, right? I mean, so we, well, we have 5,333 at the all-time high. I mean, we're at 5,269. This is the E-mini at least. You know, in the SPY, it's going to be the same. So, you know, 524. We're at 523 right now. So, I mean, it's hard to say what happens. I think we're going to come in a little bit hot tomorrow. We had Powell speak today. He's in Amsterdam. He said uh, his confidence that inflation will keep cooling is not as high as it was at the start of the year and that the central bank will need to be patient before lowering interest rates. This is a quote from him now. We did not expect this to be a smooth road, but these inflation readings were a bit higher than I think anyone expected. He said, what that has told us is that we'll need to be patient and let restrictive policy do its work. Powell said that he expects inflation will move back down on a monthly basis to levels that were more like the lower readings of last year. He goes, I would say my confidence in that, in that is not as high as it was having uh, seen these readings in the first three months of the year. So, I mean, right there, essentially saying what we have been saying here for quite a while, which is that inflation is kind of persistent. And I would make the argument again that this kind of traditional way of stamping it out when there's so much cash in it spread unevenly among people is, is may need to be looked at in the coming, you know, future. Let's say decade out or something. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back.